This is John Beeth with GoFishMagazine.com and CruiseNewsSite.com. We are on an uncruise with Inner Sea Discoveries and we're aboard the Safari Quest today. We've stopped at Yes Bay and we're at Yes Bay Lodge. We've chosen one of the great excursions that you can do with Inner Sea Discoveries. And I'm here with David, our guide, Batman. Thanks for uh, agreeing to guide us today. What are we going to go for today? Oh, you're welcome. I'm, I'm glad you could come aboard and we're happy to have you at Yes Bay. Um, what, what's been happening is the um, silver salmon run, the coho, is in full swing right now. We can go out and get lots of silver salmon. Um, the halibut bite has been steady as well. Um, we can go fishing for halibut after we catch our limit of silver salmon, coho. And if we don't want to do any of the halibut fishing, there's plenty of wildlife to be seen. We could go on a bear tour up in Neats Bay. Um, the sea lions are known to be out swimming around now. There's just a multitude of things you can do around here. It doesn't have to be limited to fishing. Yeah, and what is the limit of coho in this area? The limit of coho is six per person per day. Wow, now what about the average size? I know some places, you know, they're pretty small. How big are they here? Uh, right now we're running into the larger ones. It's part of the larger run. Um, they're ranging from 10 to 17 pounds is average size. Wow, that sounds awesome. I think we might choose to go out and catch a few coho and then go bear watching. That's something I'd love to do at Neats Bay. What else is at Neats Bay? What brings those bears there? Uh, the bears are drawn by the hatchery. There's a chum salmon hatchery in the end of, in the corner of Neats Bay. Um, it started out as a chum hatchery. Um, now they're also doing kings as well. So it's the hatchery cycle that runs up through Neats Bay. Um, the large chum salmon come up to finish their spawn and finish their life, and that's what the bearer come down after. Um, usually low tide is a better time to go. Um, there's less water and the bearers are out more, um, but we should have a good tide for that today. Well, hopefully we'll get some coho and see some bear at Neats Bay, and if those bear are where we hope they'll be, we'll get some pictures of them too. So if you go on the uncruise with inner sea discoveries, you better check out the fishing and slash bear watching option at Yes Bay. For Go Fish Magazine and CruiseNewsSite.com, I'm John Beef. Let's go fishing. Let's go. This is John Beef with Go Fish Magazine and Let's Talk Outdoors. I'm here with Inner Sea Discoveries on a cruise, and one of the things that we get to do is fish at Yes Bay Lodge. And I'm here fishing with guy Batman. Yeah, that's his name, Batman. And he's put us on some really good coho fishing. Right now I'm using my mini fat squid along with a chrome dodger. And Batman, he likes to use flies on his dodger, so this is a new experience for him as well. The coho really do seem to like this fat squid. So we're all learning something learning about this new area and having a great time fishing with Batman and this is something that you could do if you come and fish at Inner Sea Discoveries Cruise because one of the stops once again is Yes Bay Lodge where you could have one of the best fishing trips of your life. A, a day of maybe five or six hours with professional guides in Southeast Alaska. What could be better than that? Let's go catch my fish now. Check that out. All right, we're gonna net him now. Close, look out. You ready, John? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we got it. For Go Fish Magazine and Let's Talk Outdoors, my name is John Beath. I hope you enjoy your trip if you come up here with Inner Sea Discoveries or with Yes Bay Lodge.